To evoke a feeling, any of them really, is what I guess we often try to achieve when we play the guitar and make music. And I'm going to try to design a pedal board that can 100% guarantee emotions for anyone who is listening when it's used the right way. To do that, I'm going to cheat. You see, there is a backdoor to our mind I want to take advantage of, a hack if you will. It has been used a lot in TV and cinema lately, and that, my friend, is called nostalgia. A sentimental longing or wistful affection for a period in the past. To tap into that longing we all feel inside, I have carefully selected a handful of pedals that will go on this board. I've been fortunate enough to have them all provided from the brands for this video, so a huge thanks to them all for that. Each single pedal is replacing a plugin in a chain of plugins that I have used for this very matter for many years when I have been creating and recording music. First, we are going to start at the end. I want the foundation of this sound to be big, widespread and in stereo. I don't think it's a secret that I'm trying to tap into our 80s and 90s nostalgia here. So I went for my Line 6 HX stomp because of its fantastic sounding reverbs and everything will be captured by two amps in stereo. Alone it sounds absolutely fantastic. Moving to the pedal before the reverb, we have something to mess things up a bit, in a good way. Our end goal is not perfection, so I found the perfect pedal to counter perfection. The NU33 Vinyl Engine from Solid Gold FX. It sort of represents how playback of certain media types aren't self-evident. It sounds a bit different each time you listen back. Noises, cracks, time is sort of stretched in both directions, just like those old records you listen to. Since we already are on our way back in time, I want every part of this to sound less digital. Less zeros and ones, more signal moving through physical parts. A fuller sound with a light harmonically charged crunch that instantly makes our sound livelier. And that is what the tape preamp from Ana Sounds does. An effect that is really hard to turn off when you first turn it on. And let's move to the start of the chain, to perhaps the most important part of this setup. Guitars are fun and all, but in the plugin chain that I talked about earlier, guitar was not represented at all. Therefore, we need something to transform the sounds of the guitar to something different. And cue the Boss SY200. Guitar synth pedals are misunderstood, in my opinion, and also by me. I've always used them for aggressive synth leads and that can be cool, but I felt I was really able to identify the true potential of these pedals by shifting the focus over to pads and arpeggiators and sequencers instead of the leads. I wanted the SY200 to act as an old Roland Juno synth. There is one more pedal that we need to add into the mix, and that is the TC Electronic June 60, which is a faithful recreation of the lush chorus circuit found in the legendary Juno 60. It is the last fairy sprinkles we need for the time traveling sounds that will be created with this pedal board. And now to the acid test of this video. Can the combination of these pedals, some simple chords played on a guitar, accompanied by motion pictures, make us feel anything?
I honestly think this is the most fun and useful pedal board that I have ever put together. Of course, you don't have all the drive pedals and boost pedals and fusses that I like to use also. So you couldn't bring this to a blues jam. I don't go to blues jams, but it is made for a very specific thing. And that is to make sounds and songs that you just heard with me playing the guitar instead of playing a MIDI keyboard because that is what I have done before this with using a Juno plugin basically. I'm really slow when I play the piano so I wanted me playing the piano badly uh, removed from the process and now I can play guitar instead. So it's a lot quicker and I get to be way more creative when I have this setup. I basically keep all settings the same most of the time on all of the pedals except the Boss SY200. I go between the modes on the TC electronic pedal sometimes and I do some tweaking on the NU33 but mostly they are the same and I just go between presets on the SY200 and I tweak them to taste until I find a sound that works for me and the project that I'm working on. Turning up the tone a bit on this one. It's just like instantly moody and I, of course, I don't know about you guys, but it instantly makes me feel stuff and that's why I really like this setup. You can also blend in the guitar signal if you want to. Yeah. There are just endless opportunities between all of these pedals to make music that I really, really like and that I often use. So I need to try to get all of these pedals or this setup onto my main pedal board. Not sure how I'm going to do that, but I know for sure that I will use this a lot in the future. So I need to figure out a solution for that. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Goodbye.